Ooh, listen to this fancy sound effects. Oh, great, it's all gr 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 Grotus. Yeah, that's your name. Uh, we brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir, from Grubhub. Boom. Well, 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 my pet. Is it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Brutus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought Lady Hilltail had? Well, somebody nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the Crystal Stars? And they defeated that hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Did this more to be according to the report? It was a statue due to the red hat and blue oils to hold the job. Mario. Excuse me? Mario? Oh, no. <laughs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She's not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll show up where we're hunting for a crystal star, Bogley Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the search. It must not fail. What was that? Oh yeah, sure, Roger, Herodis. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I love that he, I love that he's just this pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. x not. I summon you. Yeah, you rang, dude. I mean, sir. You rang, sir. Grotus, dude. Grotus, sir. Grotus, sir. Shut up. Go get the three shadow sirens over here. Uh, the three sh shadow sirens, dude? Uh, but they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them, now. Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us, and we arrive without delay. Wee! Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? It seems some poor fool named Mario now has possession of the map. Oh, listen to this, this mysterious music. Nice theremin. This wouldn't have happened if you'd kidnapped Princess Peach when you were supposed to. It wasn't my fault, truly. The town square had too many prying eyes. Too many. Besides, she was soon joined by some old fool of an attendant. Such a fussy fungus. Worry not. All we need to find is this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x not plan. I will have many men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You three Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies, Marilyn, Vivian. Come on, we got a job to do. Go. Mm hmm. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Everyone must be worried sick. Again. What? Hang on a moment. 
Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario know that I've been caught. Aw, oh, nice peach music. Whoa, you can open lockers! Oh, you can actually interact with shit. Yeah, I can interact with things. Peach isn't so boring after all. It's softer than I expected. At least I'll be sleeping comfortably. What are these things? Alright, time to take a shower. Time to do something Smash Bros. players never do. Looks freshly scrubbed and sparkly clean. How oddly considerate of them. Wow, someone did a thorough job cleaning this. I think that's it. Okay. What a lovely shower. No soap scum, even. Wow, I wonder if it works. They did not censor the shower scene. Ah. <laughs> How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Ah, oh, the, 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 the hairstyle still goes away, though. It's not opening. Hmm? What was that? Hey, how odd. The door is open by themselves. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. I'm just gonna see if I can interact with anything. Doesn't work. Dang. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Ooh, this room looks really nice. Alright, time to do- see, we'll see if this funny voice works. Hello, Princess Peach. I'm still getting used to my, uh, voice mod. What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the T-E-C-X-X. -X. Many call me tech, you may. Sir Brodus created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Brodus? Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Brodus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. Oh, wait, oops. <laughs> I didn't check. I, did, I forgot to change it. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you just after you were brought here. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was... I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a, compu such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Also, um... I do find it interesting that they restored text red coloring from the Japanese version. I guess, uh... They didn't think the HAL 9000 reference 
would be a problem anymore in 2024. So they just said, eh, fuck it. Give Tech the red, his red coloring back. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should be not be anything I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that while well, you're in love with me? Love. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. I cannot compute this no more. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you'll do anything to help when that person's in trouble. Happiness, fun, I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I'm a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant you such a wish as letting you escape. I cannot believe this. You ex-jerks kidnapped before I can even begin to enjoy my vacation. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll get my wishes? Ha. Huh. Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There's no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. You understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here it goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Like that. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh, okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Wow. It sure is interesting. Alright, let's talk, let's play as Bower! Bower time! Oh yeah! Here's the big man himself! <laughs> Bowser the Mighty Koopa King has arrived! Hold your applause, minions! But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, great lord Bowser, sir! The, uh, crusty hag Cammy Koopa will arrive momentarily! I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. You can f you can breathe fire on people, which is amazing. Please, your ghastliness, I have to ask you to wait at the rear of the room. Greetings, your huffiness, the hag Kamiku will be arriving at any moment. So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a, prince a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Oh, I will tell you, the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Ugh, Lord Bowser. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. 
<laughs> Lord Bowser, I've been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order it me as you please, your surliness. <laughs> Super. In that case, I already do some sit-ups. And don't stop until even your hammer has abs. So yeah, another bit of censorship. Bowser doesn't call him fat anymore. But... The thought of a hammer having abs is pretty cool that I think it makes up. Hey, Lord, Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear end of the hall. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Bowser has a back sprite, by the way. Wow, what a profile. Although this thing could use a good dusting. Huh? Looks like this eye's a little loose. Incredible. The statue's eye is a jewel. I got the Bowser jewel. Just kidding. That is a... That's a... Oh, Bowser can jump now. Is there anything else I can interact with? Like, what about the torches? No. This fucking music is great. If there's one thing I love about the new Origami King style of music, it's that they throw in, like, rock and roll and jazz everywhere. It's amazing. Also, the, look at the painting on the back. It has a mustache. Oh, Lord Bowser. Just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now with it, why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Uh, uh, it's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rockport. <laughs> <laughs> what am I, Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, uh, you see, my lord. Apparently, Mario's hunting for an amazing treasure. A treasure? Yes, Mario's gone in search of the star shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world conquering tools. I want them. Uh, yeah, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? You bet I do. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out, out invites without seeing you first, Lord Bowser. <laughs> Lunkhead! A picnic? Get serious. This is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail. Because you clods always goof off. Uh. Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. What's that? You... What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. What? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who'd do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The inv investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I've got to kidnap her back. I'll do that pointing sprite. It reminds me of Sticker Star. A little bit. Alright, I gotta go. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Bam, just break a hole in the fucking wall. Let your grunginess wait up. I love how Bowser doesn't awkwardly stare at the screen and then moves out. He actually has a back sprite now. <laughs> like, it actually all makes sense now. Auto save.
Koops, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm gonna come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. <laughs> look, at, look at his dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. <laughs> May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come back home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So where are we going? Let's head back to Rokeport. Remember, Mario? Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand-year door. Then the stars will light the ways that lead to the stones of yesterday. And it didn't stop there. Each stone of yesterday shall shine and point towards the next in line. That's what the books say. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door, so that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magical map? Exactly. Come on, let's go. Aw, oh, it's so happy here. Wait, what did you say? You defeat Hooktail too? You really are cool, mister. Hey, wait a minute, could you be that super famous guy? That guy named Luigi? Yeah, you look just like him. I'm right, aren't I? Huh? You say you beat Hooktail? That's incredible, amazing! So I guess that means your adventure's finally over, eh? What? It's only just begun? Wow, really? In that case, you better shock up with more items. I bet they'll come in handy. Let's hold the crystal star in front of the thousand year door, I'm sure you remember. But it's below Rogueport. It's Petalberg. The warm air, uh... I think that's the same, actually. Anything else I can do? What do you mean, Koops' father was living inside Hooktail's stomach? Wow, Koopley rules! Hooktail bit off more than she could chew this time! Oops, not what I meant to do. I don't usually talk to all the NPCs, but now is the perfect chance to do so. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna talk to everybody. Dude, let's finally get Mega Rush P. Yeah! I don't really think I need any more Koopa leaves, or do I? Take care, young Koops, will you, Mario? I'm looking forward to the day my boy comes home with full and grow Koopa. That's Koops' dad, Koopley. He seems kind of out of it. Are all Koopas space cadets? Then again, Koops is really with it. Maybe that's because his dad is like this. Anyway, Koopa really does worry about Koops a lot, so I guess he's a good dad after all. That's Koopy Koo, a local peddler. Seems to be Koops' girlfriend. Okay, I think that's the same. Take care of Koops, please. Oh, Murphy, I was sure that you'd get that crystal star. Okay, so that's the same. Mmm, this ain't the grass's healing properties, I swear. It just takes you back to a happy place, you know what I mean? You think so too, right? Boy, do I. Fair enough. What if I what if I say no? Or the other what if the Irish? If you say so. No. Fair enough. He says it anyways. Rejoice! The fearful hooktail's gone and everyone is of good cheer once again. I truly hope that now people will begin to revisit this village once more. Are you still sad, General White? And he's still questioning his life's purposes. Mm, that seems to be mostly the same. General White is still being depressed. Yeah, I gotta say, I really love my team of GameCube. Best system ever, am I right? Yeah, I think so too. Anyways, I say that for a new game. The sequel of Paper Mario. Let's get started, but it's a blast so far. A blast! Oh, Dupree is gone. That's right. He leaves. You be Hooktail? Wow. Hey, should tell me find any treasure? None of your beeswax. 
Okay. They say the Koopas who perish there were the curse to place with the re their regret. Someone who claims the treasure will lose all his strength. Yeah, nasty, huh? So what do you think? You scared now or what? Heh, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Who needs treasure? Oh, okay. I think, uh... I think that's it, actually, for his dialogue. Some Murmur told you guys to be a hooktail. That's just a joke, right? What? It's true? No way, I figured she was gonna crumple you up and throw you into her trash can. Her trash can. <laughs> well, congratulations, you saved up 10 points and yourself a free mushroom. Wow. Uh, I think we have- we're good on FP, honestly. Still talk to Babulber. Another lovely day, the glorious sun shines down, my heart sings. You know, I bet there's a whole world we don't know about nothing past Hooktail Castle. But wait, don't tell me. I want to see it for myself. I, you know, explore like you. You know, Mario, I just realized we found a crystal star, but not Princess Peach. Where do you think she went? I hope she's alright. Hmm. Oh my god, Mario's fucking vibrating like a mobile phone. Hey, you okay? You're totally shaking. Do you need a bathroom? Well, let me listen to this music real quick. Oh! My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I'm being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what these are, what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. They may be aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Wow, wait a second. Isn't that the Princess Peach? <laughs> Isn't that from Princess Peach? The princess? So that means she's okay. For the moment, anyway. But that's better than not knowing, right? Mm-hmm. And now we know another thing. Clever kidnapped her is also after the Crystal Stars. We should get back to Roadport and start searching for the next Crystal Star, Prano. Meh, 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 meh. Nope, go away. Fuck. Well, I mean, I guess that's what this power block's for, right? Oh. I mean, I guess I'm still getting star points. That's good. Alright, well... Let's just, uh, mosey on over. Ignore all the Gumbas. They're not worth your time. I think Goombella's tattles are, like, you know, the same for every area. They don't ever change, I think. Back to Rogueport. Rogueport sub level one. Did he out for? Oh no! Love what they did with this remix, though. It's so good. Can we get that defend plus as well? Alright, well, I guess we'll do the crest. We'll do the, uh, the Thousand Year Door, then. Actually, how many star pieces did I get? Thirteen. I can almost get that power plus now. Dang, so close. Oh, yeah, we got these badges, too. 
reduce the damage your partner takes by half when they have 5 HP or less. Wearing 2 or more of these badges first decreases damage. Increase attack power by 5 when your partner only has 1 health left. Wearing 2 more of these badges first increases attack by 5 per badge. Yeah, that's pretty OP, honestly. They did not nerf Mega Rush in the slightest. Oh, yeah, and the great thing is, now we can take a shortcut. Sub level three. I love that the music gets more dynamic the further you get down, though. It's great. Whoosh. 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 Also, I need to check out the Pit of 100 Trials first. Boing. So shiny, look at that. Well, and plus we can get a Shine Sprite in the process, so... Yeah. Yay! Here we go. And I got that star piece. So they actually put the save block in front of the pit now, which I think is a great idea. They also put a heart block here, too. I don't remember if that was there normally. But, yeah, let's have a look real quick. Um, nothing behind this pipe. Deepest level reach, zero. <laughs> yeah. Danger, do not enter. This pipe is the entrance to the pit of 100 trials. First attack and bump attacks won't work, so beware. That's the entrance to the Pit of 100 Trials, the best place in the whole game. No one knows how far down that pipe goes, but it keeps me awake at night. Okay. Is this marked on the map, actually? No, it's not. It's pretty cool, though. Oh yeah, let's look at the tattle log as well. A uh, Koopa Paratroopa. A Koopa Troopa with wings that stays airborne until he stomp it and plunge to the ground. Wait, what the hell is sort type? Sort by number? Sort by ABC? Sort by place? Oh, okay. Dole Bones. A Koopa Troopa that became a skeleton. It throws bones to attack and builds buddies to help it fight. This ugly red Dole Bones is stronger than a normal Dole Bones. Even if its HP drops to zero, it can come back to life. Okay, um... Spinia Fuzzy. Uh, oh, Gold Fuzzy. A gold-colored fuzzy that attacks by charging at you. Unlike normal fuzzies, it won't drain your HP. Oh, the Fuzzy Horde is in the tattle log. Okay, they actually did. They actually fixed that, because that was a weird thing about the original. If you tattle the Fuzzy Horde, it just counts as a fuzzy tattle for some reason. A mob of fuzzies summoned by the Gold Fuzzy. They'll attack one after another by bashing their fuzzy little bodies onto you. They look like normal fuzzies, but they won't drain your HP, so they got that going for you. Mm. Look, Hale. This giant dragon attacks by munching, stomping, and bringing stinky, fiery breath. She hates things that make ribbit noise, especially creatures that start with F and end with ROG. Okay, so that is one of the new things. No new notes. And I think the other one is the recipes, so yeah. They really expanded the journal... Which I like. Okay, Mario, you ready? Hold that crystal star up. Oh, and they have they have both the partners out now. That's great. It's gonna really make it feel like you know all your party members are coming together. You know. Does that mean that by the time I get all seven of them, they're all gonna be standing with me? That's gonna be fucking awesome. Ooh. That is pretty awesome. The lighting effects, though, are really great compared to the original. Ooh. And I love that it zooms in, too. That's a really good detail. Oh, you can even see Flurry's house. Ooh. 
The location of a crystal star has been marked on your magical map. Ooh, check it out, Mario. The location of the next crystal star has appeared. But I have no idea where that is. Thumbs up! Okay, guess I gotta show the map to Professor Frankly. I'm really glad they warped you there. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I see, I see. Crystal clear. Yeah, great pun. Come on. Where's the next crystal star, Professor? It's in the Boggly Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Boggly Woods? Okay. About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. By the way, Professor, about Princess Peach. Not long ago, Mario received an email from her. It said that the people who kidnapped her are also looking for the Crystal Stars. Oh, and the worst part? She said that she doesn't even know where she is. Uh-oh. If Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the Crystal Stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars in that map. Oh yeah. And we'll head for the bodily woods to find the next crystal star. Let's do it. Yes, I recommend you do just that. Try to find it before the princess's crafters. Whatever their ultimate goal is, it can't be good. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching and learn more about the crystal star and that ancient treasure. There's a pipe that leads to Bobby Woods beneath town. I suggest you look for that. Let's find a pipe that connects to the Bobby Woods. There's probably one underneath Rogueport. Luigi! Oh, you get an email from the Toad Bros. Dear Mario, thank you for shopping at the Toad Bros Bazaar. We're ready to let you know that the contact lens you ordered is now available to pick up at our shop. Assuming you can still see well enough to read this email, please stop by at your earliest convenience. Oh, we got one from... The Toad Bros actually send you emails now. That's really cool. Alright, well... Now that we're done... Uh, chapter 1... We're gonna do a little some little side quest things. Including ignoring Luigi. <laughs> Anyways. Let's go back here real quick. Burn it. There's my 15th star piece. If you come all the way here, you must have had some serious dangerous action. That's good. Danger's good. Believe me, I know. That's Pierre. He sure does seem to have a lot of free time, doesn't he? Where it is, he's been busting his tail lately to catch the eye of the crime boss, Ishnail. Well, we'd love to get that shine sprite, but sadly I can't. <laughs> Anyways, here, here's, uh, here's the Robo gang. Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. That's Garf, part of the Robo Gang. Pretty sure he's related to Gus. He looks pretty gnarly, but he's actually pretty cool. Don't judge folks on looks. Why do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no beating. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all wah. That's Gus. He's part of that band that he's called himself the Robos. He's actually a nice guy. That's Ishnail, leader of the Thief. Band called the Robos. He really hates Don Pianta. Pianta? Pianta, I forget. I guess that's to be expected since they're bitter rivals and everything. He's got some issues about money, but he's okay otherwise. Who knew? What do you want, chump? If you ain't got business here, then beat it. Bonk. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the fucking noises are great. Hey, this area's that turf of Ishnay on the rival band of thieves. <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean here, but you think you're gonna beat the boss? <laughs> the east side is some of the worst crime anywhere here in Rogueport. Man, everyone who lives here, lives around here, is real tough and street smart too. I mean, when you don't have any money, you gotta be tough just to get by. Alright, so we can finally check out the trouble center, including this new NPC. That's Infamous, the infamous, m m the infamous Info Mouse. He gathers intel about folks in trouble instead of helping them. 
If you're stuck on a request from the Trouble Center, this smug little sleuth probably has the info you need. But that info comes at a price, so only ask if you're really stuck. Know-it-alls, such a pain, am I right? I, uh, I'm infamous. The infamous Info Mouse. I know things. Things worth knowing. If someone's, a tr if someone's trouble is giving you trouble, I'll share my info. But it'll cost you. Think of it as a tip for a tip. You haven't taken out anyone's trouble, so my info won't be of much use to you. Come talk to me after you accept someone's trouble from the board over there. Hey, is this your first time in the Trouble Center? Then I'll explain how our service works. Does it have good? This Trouble Center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. The only, if you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a real nice guy, you'll choose someone to try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward, probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Need a key. <laughs> they call me Goff. I've lost my key and thus cannot get in my house. It should be someone in Rogueport. I just need to, someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back of East Rogueport. Yeah, let's take on Garf's trouble. Do it, do it right. This is McGoomba, and I have a simple task. I need to have something take delivered. Unfortunately, for some reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Maybe behind ZST's house on Rogueport Square. You can only take one request at a time. Aww. I was really hoping they'd fix that. You take on my trouble? You okay? You? Okay. Then please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get in my house. So I'll, so I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. Bonk. <laughs> Love all these little goofy ass sprites. Hey, it's that guy again. Are you empowering up your party members? If you don't, they're gonna have a rough time as you keep adventuring. You haven't been powering them up, you better go over to Maryland's place. Alright, let's talk to Merlin finally. Alright. Ooh, I wonder how Merlin's gonna look. So, I think, honestly, I'm gonna go with Gumbella, because Gumbella seems way better. Shazibi! Shazubi! Wow, look at how fancy this is! Holy shit! That looks amazing. Care to power up more? What if I had more ranks? Return someday. Yeah, Merlin's definitely nicer in this. I I usually just... Like, I think, I'm pretty sure he just is like, get out of here or something. <laughs> Okay, so now we have multi-bonk. Continue bonking on foes until you miss the action command. Be mindful of firing spiky enemies, yep. Yeah, fuck you, Luigi. Well, hey, big bro. Fancy me you here. What a quinky dink. Thumbs up. Eh, what am I up to? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair from the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. <laughs> Good to see they never fixed that, the Chestnut King thing. Wow. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty intense, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. The Waffle Kingdom letter. We get to hear Luigi's fucking song again. Well, like I said, it's a very long story, but here it goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind his usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Oh my god, Mario's already fucking asleep. Sirs, my name is Crep. I'm a cabinet minister in the far off Waterford Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King who took our Princess Eclair. I ask Nay, beg for your assistance. The Waterford Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crep. Well, I don't remember exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone. It fell to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waterford Kingdom to investigate. 
Also, it really sounds like a fucking amazing adventure. Listen to this shit. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crab who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. And apparently though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts have been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass is said to point to the next. This is one of the parts was embedded in the yard of one by the princess. <laughs> I surmise that once I collect all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? Look at Luigi freak out, it's great. The minister gave me the compass base, sp spoken of in the waffle at the fables. When I activated the entire thing lit right up and decaying the deep south. It was pointing me towards Rumbavum Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rogue Pod for Bump Rumbavum Volcano. It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. Wanna hear about something else? I would if you had more. If you wanna hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Man, Luigi's so cool. Alright, let's, um... Oh. Ooh, listen to this music. You got some new ass battle music, dude. Stop, swap partner, special. Power bounce. Oops. That was good. Alright, here's here you get the practice power bounce. Oh. Now this really sounds like Origami King music. Boy fic. Cool. Begin. Oh, I get to practice super guarding. Okay, cool. I'm done. Honestly, honestly, that's not bad. I like that. Tell me the secrets of battle. FP. FP sounds for Frava points. All the best news use FP, so they're pretty important. If your FP hits zero, you won't get KO'd, but you'll be unable to use a lot of your moves. So keep track of your FP. PP is short for badge points. You can only equip as many badges as you got points to pay for them. The more powerful the badge, the more points you got to use, so watch out for that. Some badges power up your partner, and some of them power you up, Mario. Capiche? You can use equip as many badges as you got FP to pay for them on the badge menu. Oh, and there's a few badges that are extra effective if you equip two or more of them. You'll get your BP right back when you unequip a badge, so don't be shy about experimenting. We'll, we'll read up on more of those later on, but yeah. Hmm. Alright, well yeah, we got we're gonna do we're gonna do some troubles now. Well basically we're gonna like do more we're gonna do more shit around town, you know? Yeah, pull another credit card to me. Oh yeah, I'm making Okay, that's the same. You don't have any good jobs, do you? You know easy work, great pay? Or at least something easy. I don't do any heavy lifting, so I gotta pay- I got paid cash. Looks like you don't need anything, so I'll teach you something. How about that? If you gotta replenish both he he HP and FP, ends are better than recovery blocks. Ends will feel all your star power, too, that's why. Recovery blocks won't, genius. I like all the little dialogue, it's fun. 
looking for this guy. Okay, that's the same. Also, Charlie Tins here. I, I can't wait to talk to him in a sec. Um. Oh my God! What's his name? Lumpy. Lumpy is here, dude. That's Lumpy. Ratui. His dream is to strike it rich by finding oil. Gotta admire the dedication. Guys like this make me want to chase my dreams harder. Still, when I talk to him, it seems more like he just is just whatever, you know. How much money do I have? A hundred. I'm gonna see if I can get a bit of extra money. I'm gonna sell some of the badges I'm not gonna use. I know I don't usually usually like doing that, but if I remember correctly, um, you can sell some shit, you know. Yeah, I'm just making sure now that I'm just seeing if any of the dialogue changes. Oh wait, wait, wait! That was new. He said, "My heart's burning for long lost love." Oh, Miss Mao's you sly, sultry little thief. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. He's, he's, he's dropping a bit of dialogue. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, that's the same. Look at you, you always have a seat. Okay, that's the same. Did Tozareth change his dialogue? Oh, oh, Master Mario. What could her highness be doing? The mind reels. Please don't waste another moment. You must find the princess. You must. Okay. So that's that's little, that's new at least. There's that key, by the way. All right. Let me sell some shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell a HP plus. Thank you very much. Ikimasu. Selling your happy heart for eighty bucks. Yep. I'll keep the attack effects badge. Okay, that should be good. Um, I'll buy on Simplifier later. I need to give 300 coins to Lumpy, that's why. Oh my god, dude! You can grab items with your hammer again! Yes! <laughs> hey, value customer, your contact lens in. Please drop by the shop. Yeah, that's the same. I'll you know, buy the contact lens. <laughs> Ten coins. Bonk. I didn't bonk. You're lucky today. Did you bring me a contact lens, Mr. Squishy? No. No? Look, I'm not letting you in the West Park until you buy me a little lens. Okay, that's the same. Did you bring me a new contact lens? Yep. For poor vision. Oh, sweet relief, thank you. Finally, the world's crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff, stuff stomped on. All right, let's just say hi to um, Zesty then. Bonk. Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. stomp -a -Lot? Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happiness. Want to we whip something up for you right now? Um, sure, do mushroom. Here. Wait a sec while I flex my culinary muscles. Oh my god, they made the cooking faster! Let's go! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you like this, but... Go on, take it, Stompy! Mushroom fry! It's not called shroom fry anymore, that's weird. Um... Let's make the fresh juice, too. We gotta clear out the recipe log at some point, too. I love how she, like, hands it to you. That's cool. Fresh juice. Zesty juice. Cures conditions like poisoning and replenishes 5 FP. Uh, do I have anything else I can make? 
I guess, oh yeah, fire flower. Look over your fire flower! I wonder if the turtley leaf makes anything. Spicy soup. Yummy soup made by Zest Tea. Replenishes 4 HP and 4 FP. Uh, let's just make the turtley leaf and see what it makes. Even if it makes a mistake, it's okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, what do you make? Oh, it make- Oh, right, it makes Koopa tea. Tea brewed by Zest Tea. Okay, you know what? And just for shits and giggles, we'll cook the in-coupon. <laughs> We're gonna make a mistake now. Ah! Uh, unfortunately, that did not turn out quite right! Hey, it happens. Oh my god, her sprite is so cute. Come on, take it, Stompy! Mistake. Zesty's failed attempt. Want me to make something? Alright, we're good. Huh? You wanna stop? Okay. Come back whenever. Come on, whenever, sir. Stomp on stuff. Alright, so now we have the recipes. Made by cooking a mushroom or a super shroom. Made by cooking a fire flower. Made by cooking... Made by steeping honey syrup. Made by steeping a turtle leaf. Maybe I'm mixing incompatible ingredients. So we have 5 out of 58. 58? Is that really how many were in the original? Well, we have all the music for chapter 1 now. Hmm. Look at all these new songs. Ah, uh, there's like different parts. Wow. There's four parts to Hooktail Castle. How did I not even notice that? This is the fucking guitar riff music. Yeah. Some good shit. This shit goes hard, by the way. It doesn't even sound like the original. But you know what? I guess it's good. Heath returns to Pedalberg. Yeah! Yeah, the thinking music. Ooh. Fancy music, I love it. Black Doll Shine Sprites in and under Rogueport to unlock Rogueport. Okay. We don't have any of these yet. I can't wait to unlock the concept art, too. That's gonna be fun. Charlie Tin, my man! Hey, 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 oh! I got all the hottest new products right here! Look no further! Oh my god, the W emblem's so fucking expensive! And Jumpman's expensive! Why is everything so expensive? What, no more shopping? Sorry, I hear that, my man. There's a limited time offer. The chase goods I offer from time to time, so come back real soon, alright? We gotta go talk to Lumpy, man. We gotta go talk to our man. Hey, you're Mario! Wow, this is so cool! I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here! Oh, I know! Do you wanna make an investment, Mario? Hmm? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out to drive to a desert to prospect over oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But, but I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? 
I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. Thank you so much. You won't regret it. I'm still accepting investments. Can I ask for further support? No way, bub. Oh, thank you so much. I think you'd be willing to invest so much money into my endeavor. This should be more than enough. I promise you, I will strike oil. So expect good news. My benefactor Mario, thanks to you and your coins, I'm all ready to get out there and strike it rich. So your timing's perfect. I was just about to make my leave. And I'm so excited to begin my adventure that I'm shaking. He's a good dude. No matter how much I work, it seems like I'll never get filthy rich. Of course I ain't got a choice. Got a work to live, which means... <laughs> Out of the way, Bilge Blump. Move your booming buns. You know what I've learned? The world's full of strange and mysterious places. Yeah. I sure would love to go see all of them all one day. That'd be a logistical nightmare, though. Listen, mate. You'll run in all sorts of trouble if you don't keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, that's the same. Me? I'm a bit down. Okay. That's the same. Now you care, but I... Okay, that's the same. Well, I guess I'll save. Love it. Can't wait to get super boots so I can finally start getting these panels as well. That'll be pretty awesome. All right, so now we've uh, we've paid all of our money to um, Lumpy, so we gotta wait a while to get our Mooney back. Did you know that? That's like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star's finally starting to shine. Okay, that's the same. Hooktail Petal Meadows defeated by Brave Hero. Must have been a tough guy. While looking for badges in Hooktail's castle, I ran into a spiffy mustache fellow. The heart stealing thief. Hmm, now we know who that is. Let's see, any new updates on you? I think, yeah, I think that's the same. You yesterday blew through 200 coins at the pile, you believe that? Next time. <laughs> now it's 200. Are you changed? Yes, I'm kind of problem. You can just barge in my hideout, buddy. You're probably just jealous. No one's souping around. It's the perfect hideout spot. Well, yeah, we can go to the west side of Rogueport now. I mean, we're totally not supposed to be there yet or anything. But fuck it, I'm gonna go there anyways. We'll let Rogueport West. This is Rogueport's west side. This is totally the friendlier face of Rogueport. Not that it's, you know, a great place to raise a family, but it's good for Rogueport. Corn with the Fountain is definitely the most restful spot in Rogueport. This area is controlled by the Pianta Syndicate. Yeah, Harley here is totally a front for the boss's business. Just get all these star pieces first. Ah, oh, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. That's Gumez, the Goomba. He must be totally tired. He's always resting here. We can blame him, though. We could use some downtime, am I right? Oh boy, the lucky lottery. Time to find out how this works. Dum da do da do. Every day is a lucky day with a happy lucky lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Happy lucky lottery is so special, you pick numbers they might win each day. You just buy a lucky lottery ticket here one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your numbers come in. If your number matches the happy draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's numbers drawn each day and mid each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your clock at home. You need to describe me how the lottery works again. Nope. 
And let's get to ticket buying. I've got a great deal for first time customers. It's an only near 10 coins. Wanna buy a lucky tick lo lottery ticket for 10 coins? Yeah, I'm in. Oh, happy, thank you. Here's a lucky lottery ticket. <laughs> Your number is 0419. You can use the same numbers till you win the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Go ahead and check the board right now to see if you've won. Well, um, lucky lottery. We all know it's a scam. But the question is, how does it work in the remake? We don't know yet. We'll see, though. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's still scammed. Sorry, no, it's not a lucky day. Your ticket isn't a winner today. But every day brings a new chance, so try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. Come again tomorrow. <laughs> ah, another day, another stupid losing lottery ticket. I'm sure we'll win tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'll be then. I'll be here till tomorrow. This guy really likes. No, he totally loves the Happy Lucky Lottery. He makes it each day with one thing on his mind. That day's winning number. A new day, a new chance. That's Lucky, who runs the Happy Lucky Lottery. He's a real stickler for the rules, so if he catches you cheating, well, just be careful, Mario. Can you cheat at the luck at the lottery in this game? Actually, that's a good question. You can cheat at the lo at the lottery, can't you? I'm pretty sure you can. Hang on. Let me let me see. <laughs> um, where to be at though? TV settings, system. Would it be in system? It would probably be in date and time. Yeah. That's probably where you change it. You change it, and then he catch you cheating, probably. Oh, yeah, another star piece. Question is, do I have enough to, um... Do I have enough to buy this out? Look at the kitty boo. That's Pika, a boo that works at Westside Goods. She's so pretty and unsurprisingly unshy. I think her sister's Lala, the boo who works at the Pianta Parlor. Hey, Kitty. Uh, in the West Side Goods, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm here to sell. What could I sell, anyway? Oh, I'll sell the mistake, I guess. Thank you very much, Kitty. And I guess I'll sell a mushroom. I'll sell that mushroom I got from Lucky. Alright, there we go. Anything else I can do for you? Nope. Alright. Was it- it was Dried Shroom Dizzy Dial, I think? Can I buy a kitty? Yep. Look at her little wave. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alright, mister, what color's your mustache? Yellow. Oh! Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. It's that! Uh-huh, well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. Ooh. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Bonk. <laughs> She's cute. I want that shine sprite, damn it. Give me it. Give me it. Okay, whatever. Well, here's the Pianta parlor. Hey, who's this wise guy? You come here with knowing this is the Pianta Syndicate office? <laughs> Listen, you little bugaboo. If you got no business with the Piantas, then scram. That is not a Russian accent. I don't know why I did it like that. That's the boss, Don Pianta. It's true what they say about power. This guy's got poise. But he's got a mean streak a mile wide. They call him the Don of ultimely, untimely death. Still, he's got a really soft spot for his daughter, Francesca. If you got no business with the Piantas, then scram a lamb. Oh, oh, no, not what I meant to do. Bonk. That's Tony of the Piantas. That guy, that guy there is his brother Vinny. They're super tight. 
Tony's a wise guy who doesn't mind mixing it up a bit, if you know what I mean. This is the office of the Pianta Syndicate. Ya dip? Don't tell me you didn't know that. That's Vinny of the Piantas. That guy there is his brother Tony. They're super tight. They live for their boss, seriously. They put their lives on the line for him. Oh, Frankie. That's Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca. She's head over heels for Frankie. Seems like she's got Frankie on a pretty short leash, but hey, they're pretty happy, right? That's Frankie, a member of the Pianta Syndicate. He's a monster when he's angry. Everybody in Roadport talks about him and Francesca's public displays of affection. Oops, wrong button. If you so much a brief funny around the boss, you know what had happened, right? Bonk, 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 bonk. And there's those chairs. Those chairs will be relevant for a later side quest. God forbid. God forbid that side quest. I don't even remember the combination for it. I don't have the combination. That's Rocco of the Piantas. He's the muscle that keeps the parlor moving smoothly. He's new to the Pianta Syndicate and still a long way from the top as far as I can tell. The boss told me to look after this place. If you do anything funny, and I'll toss you like that. Well, let's check out the Pianta Parlor. Oh boy. Funny music in here. Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. What's that now? You want one of them member credit cards that increase the mini games you can play, do ya? Well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they give it to ya. That's a Goomba who really likes this parlor. He always seems to be in a good mood. I wouldn't mind winning like he does every now and then. Lucky stiff. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My husband's worried about me. Oh, don't be silly. He doesn't mind. As long as he's writing, he doesn't notice what anyone else does. That's a parlor customer. I think she leaves her hubby home with the kids so she can play here all day long. Yeah, that's healthy. This place is run by the head of Pianta Syndicate. You can play fun games here and win Pianta tokens redeemed for prizes. Yeah, play to win, get those prizes. That's a parlor customer. She's a little mauser, it looks like. You have to see a girl in here. It's a good sign this place is safe enough for, enough for regular folks to go to. I am the Pianta Changers, Changing Machine. I am called the Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. How many will you exchange? Well, you can do 150 for 50 in this game. That's pretty nice. Thank you very much. Come again. Can I, in, like, paddle that? You need four piantas to play this game. You need one pianta to play this game. So yeah, they changed the slot machines to Mario match games, which I honestly think is a nice change. Oh my god, the Game Boy noise. This is the scoreboard member's card required for use. Bonk. Bonk. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? You can trade in the Piantas you've won for prizes. And for some of our prizes, can't be found anywhere else. So, this is where you get cake mix, super shrooms, super peels, and refund. I seem to, they seem to cost a little bit more than I remember. Anything else I could do for you? Nope. Oh, really? Okay. Definitely come talk to me if you need anything. Whoop. Oh my, customers aren't allowed back here. What? You want to learn a little bit more about me? Well, I'm in charge of the Pianta Parlor Center, silly. I know all there is to know about this place, so if you have a question, just ask. Huh? You want to know more about my outside job? Well, okay. I'm 18. My favorite food is honey shrooms. The rest is a secret. If you get a high score in one of the minigames, maybe I'll tell you more. That's Lala, the boo. She works the desk at the Pianta Parlor. Her sister's Pika, the boo who works in the shop. I hear they both used to be models. Well, definitely be playing the Pianta minigames later on. I don't know when yet, though. 
Also, this guy is like scared shitless. I almost fell down the grate. Man, that was close. I know where the thing leads to all too well, and I don't want to go down there. <laughs> That's a neighborhood kid. He seems to like going out and exploring new places. He has some big, big feelings about his family. I think it shows how much he cares for them. Wow, this town may be full of rogues and punks, but this part sure feels safe. Don Pianta sure does a good job managing things. I feel totally safe shopping here. That's a toad from the west side. She's a big t she's a big theater goer, and apparently she's also a raving fan of flurries. Yeah, whoever flurry is. You know, Dwayne dwindles while we're off in bed doing nothing, dude. Oh well, I am rich after all. That Koopa lives here. He must have been born lucky because he always succeeds. He has all the money he'll ever need, but I think he's still unfulfilled somehow. Mm, then again, that doesn't surprise me since he spends all day in bed. He just goes to show you can't buy happiness and you should occasionally leave bed. Can't open the, the cabinet, sadly. My dad's writing a novel, but it'll never sell. It's terrible. I think this kid lives here. He's afraid to go outside, so he spends all day in here. He's got some family issues, I think, but it's not our place to stick our noses in. Kids his age have so much to worry about, but don't we all? Let's talk to the dad. I'm a dad. Huh, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere in my novel. I need to go off to places I've never seen to get inspired to write or something. That guy's a novelist and the owner of this house. He has great ideas, but can't write unless he's concentrating. I think he just psychs himself out. I mean, he's got the talent and all. Yeah, we're gonna go around and have fun. Hey for Mario. Um, I took a little break, but you guys won't really notice that. That's Stewart, the blimp conductor. His job is to check blimp passengers' tickets. I hear he loved to see you even as a child and wanted to become a sailor. But now he's sailing the skies instead. I guess his dream sort of came true, huh? He's like an air, air sailor or something. This flight goes to Glissville. You'll need a ticket to travel with us, dude. Oh! We got this cool Lakitu. That's Lacky, a train-loving Lakitu. All this guy does is sit here and watch trains. I'm sure he'd love to ride the X Express, but he can't afford a ticket. It'd be cool if he saved up enough to ride it just once in his life, you know? I tell you, I like standing here and gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. Cause if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, looking at it's better, but if I could just afford a ticket, I might ride it once. It's the Aztec Express bound for luxurious Poshley Heights! Passengers must present a ticket to board! That's Porter, the station manager here. He also plays Luigi in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. He checks train tickets. I hear he loves trains so much that he has like a billion model trains at home. Maybe he's just using his adulthood to buy all the things he wanted as a kid. Ah, you gotta love train platforms, man! I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. Wow, the thought of it all! I just love it! This girl's always here. She's fixated on romantic scenes in train stations. I see where she comes from. Train station platforms do have their romantic air. Bonk. Bonk. I love bonking everybody. It's, it's very thin me. Alright, alright guys. I think it's finally time for us to go down into the other part of the sewers. Rogue Port Sub Level 1. Well, let me go over here first, and then I'll go check out down there. Yeah, another star piece! Fuck. Fuck. 
tight, and I've seen your face around these parts. Who are you? Who's you? Huh, <laughs> I get it. You're a wanted man above ground and can't be seen in town, eh? Huh, no? Oops, sorry, sorry about that. I'll, I'll tattle these guys in a second. I just want to get this soft stomp over here. Yeah! One of the least interesting badges in the game. That, this little Mauser seems to be an archaeologist, and she's here to research the underground. But she's worried about her partner all the time, so she's not making much progress. I feel like so bad for her. Oh, did you come here to research too? Susie, you're an adventurer? Really? Wow. That's the first time I've heard anyone describe them as their occupation as an adventurer. Hopefully, um... Hopefully he doesn't pick up the birds outside too much. That's Eddie the Mask. He's some kind of health fanatic. Lots of intense folks down here, huh? This one's the healthy kind of intense, though, so he knows what stylish moves. Ask him. Yeah, Eddie the Mask here. Sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will just go wild, and some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack is different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. After you jumped on enemy, try pressing it to A at the height of your rebound. Shine hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's how you gotta practice, yo. That's a subterranean Goomba. I think he just moved down here recently. Even so, he sure, he sure seems to know a lot of these ruins. What's he do for a living? I love this little town underground. It's so fun. Anyways, here's this fucking place. There's so many people here. That's a bandit who lives underground. He seems to come by the shop often. He must like talking to Wonky and the shop owner, huh? Go figure. Yo, visitor, eh? Hey man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. We're down below Roqueport. Folks say these are the ruins of a thousand-year-old town. Even though these buildings are crumbling, some seem safer than those above us. Those who are living here mostly can't show their face above for one reason or another. Some have actually started successful businesses here, though. What a hardy bunch. We'll talk to Wonky in a sec, but let's talk to, um... Let's talk to the most... Well, probably one of the most forgettable NPCs, honestly. This is a special refuge for all, where we cultivate information. Herb Tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. That's the cola bar owner, Herb Tea. He's a middle-aged guy with a mild mustache. He may look like just another glass polisher, but he's an old-school cola bartender. He's hilarious, but I'm sure he's heard his share of uh, super depressing stuff, too. Isn't this bob -omb from Far Outpost? I know stuff, too! Seriously! Like, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls, because no one tells me. This bomb's adorable, look at it. This bomb lives down here. The pink color is really cute, but ironically, he's not very bright. He's got his own ambitions of being an info guy like Wonky, selling tips for cash. But his tips don't even make a tiny little bit of sense. Hello? Can you say stupid? That's Wonky, the go-to guy for useful info. He looks a bit iffy, but I think his tips are okay. Just make sure you get your money's worth. Now you'll know until you pay. Howdy! My name's Wonky, and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know may even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me questions, just speak up and ask away. Pay me five coins, I can tell you about battle techniques. He has his own funny music. I hear the best way to fill up your audience is to succeed at action commands. Especially when you succeed at seven in a row. Oof, I hear that's great. Also, being enemies quickly and striking first can build up your crowd too. That might be good to remember. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask old Wonky. Anything else? If you need to know stuff about stuff, just ask me. They gave Wonky his own theme song. That is the one of the funniest fucking things I heard all day. Anyways, here's the really expensive shop. Where, um... You can buy gold bars and stuff. Hi there, welcome to the Deep Down Depot. What can I do for you? Come again. That's the manager of the Deep Down Depot. She seems to be pretty courteous. Hey, and there are some super classy items on display here, huh? But Jeepers Creepers, what sort of person buys gold bars anyway? Freaks, that's who. 
<laughs> Would be me. Actually, wait, was there anything in the shop? Like, behind here? No? Okay, I'm just checking. Love that you can actually see the gold bars in there. That's cool. I think it might be time to talk to the bandit soon. Or not bandit. It might be time to talk to, um... Fuck, I forgot his name. Dazzle, yeah. It's time to talk to Dazzle soon, you know? We're down below Roveport. You can spend a lifetime studying secrets down here. I have this hunch that the pipe to Bollywood Woods isn't on this side of town. I, I know, Goombella. I'm just, just having a look. Oh, yeah, we also got the Spania. Got a star piece. Alright. Tattle these. Tattle the Spania. Woo! That's a Spania. A Spania with spikes on its head. It looks meaner, too. So, sort of the same as a Spania. You gotta watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise, just wail on it. I gotta be honest, though, the way that thing spins makes you want to yak. Well, I think this would be an excellent time to try out Earth Tremor. Whoa! It's really, it's really messing me up that they changed the stars. A button presses. That is very weird compared to the original, but I managed to do it, so yeah. Ooh, I got a free mush. Is there an item back here normally? Huh. Maybe not. Maybe I'm misremembering that. And there's that X there, which we'll have to come back to later. Alright, let's see where we go next. Oh, you can't get over there, can you? Wait a minute. What the fuck is that light blue door all about? They really changed up this place, didn't they? Oop. Ugh, man, you just won't leave me alone, will you? Actually, this will be fine. We can multi-bonk this fool. Oh, well, never mind. I forgot Goombella's uh, ranked up. Three star points for those guys. That's, like, literally nothing. <laughs> Wanna get this slow sure, man. And the gradual syrup that's in there. Wait a minute, though. Can't I just cheese the super block? Like, yeah, I can't. I really, I can't just do this. Nothing's stopping me from doing that. <laughs> gradual syrup, yum. So then, why is this here? If I can just go oh, down here. Oh. Oh! Here's the fast travel room. Oh, that's fun. Look at that. So yeah, this is basically similar to the Origami King. Where they have, like, warp points. What's this all about? What did that do? Oh my god, there's a warp pipe on the surface? Wait, really? That... That's pretty awesome. Well, that's locked. 
We're down below Rogueport. You know, this seems to be more than just a room. Nothing ever... Nothing's ever gonna... Uh, you know, I'm not gonna... Okay, finish the sentence. So, this takes me where I think it does, right? Yeah! We got fast travel, baby! But wait, then. That's actually really useful. Because you don't have- you, you can just go in here now. You get to go to a rogue port for free, dude. I really appreciate that. One of the best changes so far. So you can warp between places really easily now. Guess I'll get one for World 2 soon, huh? I have, like, no Moon Knee, though, so, yeah. Um, right, I'm gonna talk to Dazzle and get my Power Plus real quick. Oh, you actually, like, see Punio go down the pipe. That's a cool little detail. Alright, we're gonna get Power Plus. You'll need 6 BP to wear it. You wanna trade 15 sweet, sweet star pieces for the Power Plus? Let's trade more. Alright, next up, I will get... Let's get Item Hog for fun. Let's trade more. And I'll get Attack Effects Y. Here we go. Yes, thank you to my... Thank you, my guy. My star piece collection is even bigger now. Yes! Maybe we can trade again sometime, yeah? Let me go finish up those troubles as well. <laughs> I want to get I want to get a lot of those done before I uh, start the next chapter. You know. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm stupid. I, I I have to give the guy his key. <laughs> This poor guy, he's been waiting on his key for like an hour, I swear. Right, here's your house key. Yes, my key. I can finally get inside my house again. Oh, sweet home, thank you. Please take this payment for your efforts, alright? Got 30 coins. Oh, they increased the price from 20. You solved the trouble. What's his house like? Pretty cozy, honestly. Can I to unlock Flurry? I can do so much more once I unlock her. Alright, we got some more. Uh, competitor research. This offer, I want to open up a new shop, but I need to say help set my prices. Since I can't go into competitor shop, I need some research done. I need the price of Firefly, Sleepy Sheep, and Tasty Tonics in Rogue Court. Wait in front of the building and make an exchange. Oh yeah, if I remember correctly, you actually don't have to give him the legit prices. You can just talk to him and give him some bullshit. Can you check prices for me? Perfect, okay, I'm ready. First, how much are they asking for fire flowers? Ten coins. Yeah, I see. And for sleepy sheep? Eight coins. Okay. And how about tasty tonic? How much is that? Three coins! Wow, that's rough. Those are some low prices. I can't believe they're selling that low. Eh, even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit. But that's certainly helpful information. Here's your reward. Good work. I have 30 coins! At this rate, I will be able to buy on Simplifier. Alright, uh, safe delivery. There's a big Goomba, and I have a simple task. I need something to deliver. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around real quick. Oh yeah, this guy. Yes! I really do wish you could take on multiple troubles at a time, but... It's the only limitation, really, so far. Alright, let's talk to our good old pal, Megumba. 
You never know who'll be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goonfrey. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. Try not to be seen. <laughs> you get to be a delivery man now. <laughs> Imagine if this was a stealth, like an actual stealth mission. Package, yeah, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell me Goomba said so. Do me a favor, forget all this, you hear me? Never happened, for your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give Megumba my sent message, he'll give you my, your conversation. Man, this deal won't be all done unless you give my message to Goomba. Did you deliver it? Yeah, you saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot your conversation. You saved my neck. You get something good. 30 more money. At least the money is more plentiful in this game. It's a good way to get a bit of extra pocket change, you know, early on. Anyways, let's see if I can buy on Simplifier. I'm putting that bad boy on right away. Alright, Sun Simplifier, you're finally mine. Twitch Prime will be mine. Alright, unfortunately, I can't afford it right now. I guess we can take off close call. There we go. Now we get the true... We get the true TTYD experience. Because now we have three frame super guards. Finally. <laughs> at, la at long last, three frame super guards. Alright. I mean... I don't know if it's... Because, here's the thing. In in this remake, this remake runs at 30 FPS. Super guards are apparently two frames. Which would be four frames in 60 FPS. Which means... Hey, 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 my name is Gutha. Please find the guy that pulled off the credit card fraud on me. I'll be in Rogueport Square, so come talk to me. Which means that... It's either going to be lowered to one frame at a 30, or it's gonna be like... Is it possible for it to do like half, a one and a half frames? That's what I'm wondering about. It's pretty hard to tell. Hey, you're here to handle my trouble, aren't you? Listen up. Lost and the bandit pulled some credit card fraud on me and took my dough. I want to rough him up for it, but this guy's too wise, so I can never catch him. He's hiding, he's hiding someone in the rogue port, so I want you to find him. By the way, bands those guys in blue outfits who wear masks. They have several in rogue port, but the ones will fess up when you grill them. Do this and you'll get your reward. Come on, counting on you. It's been a while since I've done... It's been a while since I've done these, but... I'm excited to... Do all the troubles all over again, because I haven't done them in a long-ass time. You got a problem? What are you looking at? Unless you got busy with me, scram. What? You want me to turn the money I swindled? What are you, the fraud police? Sheesh, I let myself get caught. I'm trying to remember which places he goes to. I think he goes behind this building at one point. Mm, nope. <laughs> Gotta catch up to him. Oh yeah, right. He's down. He comes down here first. Whoa, Mario, that's the guy. That's Larson, the thief that Goomther asked us to catch. This is where he's been hiding. Let's nab him get the reward. Come on. Cripes, the fraud police. You don't give up easily, do you? You can't make me pay. 
Where does he get off to, anyway? Oh, there he is. Cripes, the fraud police. Uh, uh, shoot, you're serious. Uh, fine, I'm a man. I'll do it with me as you will. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like you got him. Nice. Here's your reward. 30 bucks. So, since it looks like you're all out of dough, I'll take it off your hide. Ugh, no, please. <laughs> you solved the trouble. Yeah, we have so much to do in town, it's not even funny. We got quite a bit to go through still. Some of them are from Chapter 1 even, I think. Um, we have, uh, five left. Okay, hit me, please. Ask me in here. I need some help jogging your memory. Meet me in Rogue Force Square in front of the shop. I'm just giving everybody, like, the same generic mobster voice. <laughs> I don't know, it fits the t it fits the vibe of the town, though. That's why I do it. Oh, my hand. You accepted my trouble. I smell it, thank you. I found a good lead or a way to make some money, but I forgot some of it. So, I want you to use shock treatment and try to remember it. Yes, indeedy. Just keep hitting me in the head with that hand until I remember. But be careful, if you hit me after I remember, I'll forget again, okay? Let's do this. You'll use B. That's it, I remember now. I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop in Rogueport and sell it for a two-coin profit in Pedalburg. Heh, heh, heh. I like that tip of your reward. Don't spend all those profits. Today he teaches you some money-making schemes. I mean, well, it's more like he's teaching you that some places will buy shit for more than other places. Which is pretty cool. He's a bomb bird and I need you to do some shopping. Please come right quick, cause I'm starving. Meet me in Rogueport out the docks. Can I see wish can I see wonder if I uh <coughs> yell if you have any fire? Just like, just check the board again. Hmm. Looks like you're gonna make contact at Robot Harbor. Um, cancel that cancel. <laughs> That's a good line of dialogue there. Bonk. So what? What does what does Infamous do anyway? Hmm. I'm not sure. Alright, well, let's see. I'm pretty sure you can just give him, like, literally anything. Move it, line lover. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. You took my trouble, eh? My wife brought me a lunchbox, but it was empty when he opened it. So hungry, I could eat walrus whiskers. You gotta bring me something to eat. How about, uh, let's see, uh, whatever, anything. As long as it's food. I got to it. Um... You know what, you can have, um... Have my mushroom. Hey, that looks right tasty! Hmm, <laughs> oh, hmm, oh, that hits the spot, mate! Now, is his reward. You get a I remember he- yeah, he gives you 11, randomly. Thanks, mate. Yeah, he doesn't give you- he doesn't give you 20 or 30 like the rest of them, he gives you 11. Which is kind of funny, I like that little detail. I don't know why. Hmm. 
Still sad there's no, um... Still sad there's no, like, spin button. It doesn't look like L3 or R3 do anything in this game, either. Try to find me. It's me, Koopook, the wandering hide-and-seek champion. I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail Castle right now. If you find me, I'll give you a Mimus Kai for Pianta Parla. Can you do it? Really? Want to take on Koopook's trouble? No. I think I'll do that one later. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do that one when I uh, go to get Miss Mouse. So that'll be later. Will someone please talk to me, please? I'm waiting at the pink house in Pedalburg. Do it, do it right. See, I can't wait to get, um... Uh, oh yeah, right. We can actually just warp there, which... This is gonna make some of these troubles really, really nice. Because in TTYD, you don't get fast travel access until after Chapter 3. Which is a big yikes. It makes some of these trebles really annoying to do, but now I can just warp there, which is fucking fantastic. You know, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, because this room is amazing. Alright, time to talk to Funny Crew. You know what? Let me get a... Let me get a Koopa Leaf. Yum. I can make more Koopa Tea with that, you know? Well, well, Murphy. You must have gotten my request. Good, good. Koopy Toe, I've been a touch lonely here with no one to talk to. Since you're here, why don't you relax me for a bit? Indulge in old Koopa. Oh, to tell you the truth, I've got a few things to say about kids these days. Their tempers are too short for their own good. Makes me want to give them a good old stern finger wagon. When I was, when I was shopping at Toad Bros Bazaar the other day, I was trying to pay and my coin purse was stuck closed, and the kid behind me said, Hey, geezer, I want to pay so we can get out of here before the sun goes down. Now, I may be a geezer, but sundown was clearly taking longer than I was, clearly. But speaking of sundown, reminds me of the day the missus back before she was the missus. Oh, you had to have her home down by, yes, the sun down, yes, sir. Her pa was an absolute maniac. Yes, I'd keep my eyes on the sun and off the face of my missus, gentlemanly, huh? Actually, it was sort of awkward, kind of blinding in a painful sort of way. Yeah, just think about it, it makes you feel awkward. <laughs> Isn't my memory grand? That's not what I was talking about. Uh, now, where was I? Uh, well, that's right. Uh, the kids today, they know nothing about patience, I tell you. They want to stand up and yell, Hey, you perks, be more patient right now! Speaking of which, I think I proclaimed my love for the missus in a loud voice. Yet yeah, she was leaving on a train, and I yelled at her from the platform like in a movie. Now, uh, who was it that I yelled at her? Something about her share, maybe? Oh, wait, wait, I think I strayed from me for the point again. Or did I? Uh, anyways, me and the missus were badly in love. He had heaven over shells, I tell you. Now, nah, wait, uh, my point was all kids today, right? Nah, whatever. Hey, my dear sweet missus, the way you combed my eyebrows, such tenderness. <laughs> As I will, sorry, I got distracted there. Anyway, you get my point. Uh, sorry you had to listen to all that. It wasn't too boring, though, I'd wager. I just had to get a little face time with the youth of today. Oh! Oops, forgot to set up the tea. And I old ditty. My apologies. Hey, I haven't even added the hot water pipe. Shuffle, so sorry. <laughs> you get a turtle leaf. Yeah, boy, if you cook a turtle leaf, you can make some amazing tea. Oh, and if you change your mind, you can come back and listen to me yap anytime. Eh, who's that? Who's there? What do you want? Uh, you dirty thief. I'll poke you, but good. Come get some. Oh, if it isn't Murphy. How you been, Murphy? I'm good as ever. Got my health and my long, long life. You Can you actually come back and talk to him? That'd be pretty neat. He says he's always been forgetful, dude. Yeah, ever since he was a kid, he says. I guess I should never be worried, right? Seriously, what a waste of brain power. But now that I think on it, maybe I'm getting forgetful. Now I'm worried about me. Hey, Mario, you're Luigi's older brother, right? That's so cool. I mean, you're cool, cool too and all, but I just think Luigi's the greatest. Thanks to you, they'll be calling here again, of course. Of course, peace and quiet is bad for business, dude. Nobody goes in that shop anymore. The business world's a rough place, man. Hey. Buy some items once in a while. The guy in the shop sure would appreciate it. I need to talk to everybody again, then they'll have you no dialogue, dude. Who 
Koopy tries to play it off, but he's actually very sick over what happens to Koops. He should know, though. Don't judge a person. No, don't judge a Koopa by its shell. Take care of Koops, please. Oh, wait, hang on. What else do I have Koops out? Do your best here, Koops. I'll be waiting for you. No matter where it is you go, son, just know your old Koopa's rooting for you. Why don't you switch back to Goombella, then? Take care of young Koops, William Mario. I'm looking forward to the day my boy comes home with own Gru Koopa. The town's very peaceful, yes, and that's why there's so many flowers. But I've heard there are places where no flowers bloom. I can never forgive myself if I did nothing to try and bring flowers to such places. That is why I shoot out spores as often as I can. It's my civic duty. Look how happy this man is. For this flower? I've been playing Paper Mario Thousand in your door a lot lately. I wasn't sure at first, but that game's awesome. I just beat it. Every chapter. Really cool ending. I loved it. So worth the money. Think there'll be a sequel? If not, I hope they make a Le Paper Luigi game. Yeah, I bet that'd be awesome too. Oh, is that show Hooktail's Toast, huh? I guess that is a good thing. Although, well, I've heard that Hooktail had lots of dragon friends, yeah. And I heard they're all much, much meaner and more powerful than Hooktail. So what do you think? Are you shaking out or what? Ha, huh, shike. Served. It's yet another fine day, but that just means I'll be longing for blessed rain. I want to have an adventure like you guys, actually. Actually, I went and went to Hooktail Castle once. And you know what? That drawbridge over the moat was busted. I couldn't get in. How'd you guys manage to get across that moat without the drawbridge broken, huh? Curious, did this guy update? <laughs> it keeps your hands to a shelf in here. Basically, everything in this room is one of a kind collectible. Apparently, there's a 60 FPS patch for this game already. I don't know if it'll work on my Switch, though. So it's true that you guys defeat Hooktail? Wow, I'm sorry I doubted you. But really, do you blame me? I mean, you're so skinny, you're way for thin. I'm not skinny. Mario's like a fucking ball in this game, bruh. <laughs> the Joy-Con war is over? We lost, says Arlo. What? I don't know what that means. Okay, well that was my, uh, that was my little digression to, uh, Petalburg. Can't wait to see what that door leads to. Sure will be interesting. I'll tell you what. Wow! Even just to play this game at a slightly faster speed, that would be nice. I will give it a try and see if it does anything after this. Alright, um, plenty. I think that's it. My shop inventory is low and we need someone to help me restock. Please come to the shop in Roqueport Square. Was this the guy that needed, like, three sleepy sheeps or something? I don't remember what it was. Or no, it was, like, three courage shells, right? I think I remember, actually. I'm gonna check, just in case. I think, he want, I think that's what he wanted. I think he wanted three courage shells. <laughs> okay, we guess we're in the Toad Bros Bazaar. Ah, oh, you saved my trouble, huh, fella? We're having a really hard time finding courage shells. I need you to bring us five from where you can find them. Five? Oh my god. That's five courage shells. I'm counting on you. Five? I don't remember him wanting five courage shells. But well, alright. I might need to sell some stuff. Yeah, I almost have max inventory already. Wow. Hello again. Did you find the five remaining courage shells for us? Now then. Hey there, fella. Oh, the Toad Bros Bazaar. What can I do for you? Is there a limit to how many? S oh, you can store 32. Okay, that's like the original. I'm gonna sell the. I'm gonna put away slow shroom, the dried shroom, honey syrup. Gradual syrup. Don't need all these turly leaves, that's for sure. 
and a dizzy. Uh, I'll keep the dizzy dial, actually. That should be good. Anything else I can do for you? Um, actually, you know what? Withdraw that slow shroom. I'm gonna make a, um, I'm gonna make a shroom roast real quick. Don't get okay? I don't remember every single, uh, item. Or every single recipe, but it'll come back to me, I'm sure. You again, huh? You're looking well, or whatever. Want me to cook something for you, clumsy crush a lot? There we go. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not really sure you like this, but go on, take a stompy. Yeah, the shroom roast. That shit's good. Alright, we're going back to Pelberg again for curry shells this time. What could the reward for this one be? I don't remember if it was any good. Because you have to pay a lot of money to get five courage shells. Oh, pipe the pedal, bird. Tells you where you gotta go. Apparently this is the same engine as Origami King, which is kind of wild. Amazing, it looks as good as it does. Alright, gotta buy five courage shells. It's still pretty slow buying stuff. There, I got five now. Well, apparently Discord Mobile got updated again. That's fucking fantastic. I don't know why people keep talking about that. I never update my Discord on mobile. Because I just don't care. It, it, all the new updates are shit. Good. Did you find the five remaining card shells for us? Yep. That's five. You're done. Well, here's your reward. I hope you like it. Oh, you got a free ultra shroom. I forgot you get one this early. Thank you so much. Really, you really helped me. Okay. Well, we can cook that, I guess. You know, what, let's make a let's make a shroom steak with that. You know, the the sooner we fill out the recipe log, the better I'll feel, honestly. And we don't have the cookbook yet, so we're gonna have to wait for that. I got shroom steak. Thirty HP and ten FP. Alright, let's look at my recipe book now. Recipes. We got 7 out of 58. Well, we're like, I don't know. Maybe uh, a, a sixth done or something like that. We have 17 out of 86 badges. Hmm. Well, he's got a boo sheet. Oh, and he's got Mega Rush. I would love to have that. Why is the WM 432 coins, though? I mean, it's probably pretty pricey. It's pretty pricey because you get more money from bosses in this game. That's probably why. Hey, yo, thanks very much. Getting an item like this at that price, what a deal. I changed your price from time to time, so come back soon, all right, man? <laughs> My man. 
All right, I think we're done all the troubles. So probably what I'll do now is we'll just get set up for chapter two. Yeah. I'm probably gonna take a little break though from recording. I've been, I've recorded these, I've recorded three episodes back to back. So I've been playing this game for six hours now. I'm gonna take a little break though. And I'm gonna actually start like editing these to get, I'm gonna start editing my TTYD videos and uploading them. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode, though, alright? So, we will do Chapter 2 next time. We're gonna see Flurry and Punio, and we'll see how good that chapter is.